We go to the 5,000 meter competition. We get the gun, we are underway. A field of 15 runners in all. And the favorites, Danny Grimes from Humboldt State. And in all probability, the man most likely to test him in this event, Larry, would be Paul Peterson of Saginaw Valley. Here are the contestants in the race. Grimes and uh, Colin of South Dakota, Cook, Riverside, Miller, Petersburg, or Pittsburgh, rather, Fest from Indiana, Pennsylvania, Fisto of uh, Millersville, Alvarez of Riverside, McLeod from CW Post. Libovich from Northridge, Peterson of Saginaw Valley, Freeman, St. Augustine's, Ferrari of California, Pennsylvania, and uh, Lagridi of Portland State, Strangio, Cal Poly, and Spence from Shippensburg. Well, one of the co-favorites here has to be Danny Grimes, a young man who's had an illustrious career up at Humboldt State, up in Eureka, California. Uh, this tiny young lumberjack, all of about five feet six of him, you see him running right behind Steve Alvarez from the University of California at Riverside. He's Alvarez moved into a, number two already. Alvarez, a, a top high school runner here in California, he ran 419 in his day. Right behind Grimes is. Paul Peterson of Saginaw Valley, and we would expect those two really to be involved in a duel. Let me add this. Uh, Peterson is a top five and 10,000 meter runner. And I think you're gonna see actually some of the cream moving up to the top right now. And I would not expect much of a change from some of the four people you're seeing up there now. There's our split time, 109.5, still holding on to the lead from Riverside is Alvarez. That is Grimes right with him. Spencer Peterson has dropped back to the number four position. That's Chris Chalet from Cal Poly, who's now in third place. Well, while this race goes on, and it will go for an extended period of time, we'll check back with it momentarily. Let's pick up some of the action. Number one in the world in this event last year for the first time ever. Well, while we await the next triple jumper, you can see on your screen the field of 5,000 meter runners go by and the lead still being held by Steven Alvarez of Riverside with Danny Grimes right on his heels. Alvarez's best time, 14 minutes and two seconds for this event. He's a top steeplechaser. He's run well at 10,000 meters and he's one of the best Division II cross-country runners, having finished as high as second place in 1979. Steve Alvarez leading right now. Danny Grimes from Humboldt State. Let's pick up the action again in the triple jump as you continue to watch the 5,000 meter runners with Alvarez holding his lead. Grimes in second place. I believe that's Lawrence Fess of Indiana University of Pennsylvania in the number three position. Little Indiana. I have friends that live in Indiana, Pennsylvania, if you can believe it. It is a small town, Joe. Four, four minutes, 23 seconds by the mile Back as we the leave 5, the 5,000-meter competition. Two men now have stepped out in front of the pack, Alvarez and Grimes. Alvarez continues to hold the lead with Grimes right in his back pocket. Alvarez has opened up about a two-yard lead, and Grimes has just parked himself right there. If they were a couple of automobiles, he'd be using him as a windbreaker. Grimes lacks great speed. He doesn't have a great kick. Alvarez has a much better mile time than Danny does, but Danny is choosing to sit back, and he's fortunate. He doesn't have to force the pace here. He's drafting, much as they do in car racing uh, at, at Indianapolis, uh, the same style here. And he's, he's enjoying the benefits of having less wind hit him down this home stretch, and there is a wind. And he's also having him block uh, any type of wind resistance that the body hits when it hits the air. Grimes just off the right shoulder of Alvarez and as they continue in the 5,000 meters let's pick up earlier place, competition Mike Jones we're back to the 5,000 meter competition Steve Alvarez continues to hold on to his narrow lead over Danny Grimes it is boiled down to a two-man race as Alvarez and Grimes have separated themselves from the rest of the pack and Alvarez 
with the split time showing on your screen a 7.48-1, continuing to hold on to the lead that he grabbed right at the outset. He has never trailed. Joe, it's a fearful time for the leader. You know you're being stalked. You keep asking yourself, how good is this guy behind me? Is the, you know, can I go faster? Where shall I surge? Shall I try and slow down and let him be forced into the lead and tactically break up his routine? There's many things. Shall I try and put a surge on and put distance between the two of us? How shall I try and break this man? And as you get closer and closer to the finish line, the fear builds in your body that you may not are going to be able to break him. It looks right now we're in a crucial part of the race. He appears to be stretching out the lead over Grimes at the present time, Alvarez, but it is still not a lead that Grimes would be worried about at this stage, I don't think, although, as you say, Larry, he does not have maybe the speed of Alvarez. Well, what you want to do if you're Danny Grimes is you don't want to lose contact. You know, you get in the middle between first place and third place, and you're in no man's bill. You want the human contact. We, we love it as people, and that's why cities are as big as they are, Joe. But uh, out in the track here, you don't want to be separated. 8.57-1, a split time as Stephen Alvarez of California Riverside continues to hold on to his lead over Danny Grimes and again appears to be trying to increase that margin. He has moved out now to about a 15-yard lead. He is breaking Grimes at this point, I think. Yeah, another 10 yards or so, and I think Grimes will mentally find it very difficult to come back on him. Well, the race still has a ways to go, so let's pick up some of the competition going on in the Alvarez continues to set the pace of the 5,000 meter race, and he has opened up a good 30 yard gap now between himself and Danny Grimes. Is that a lead that Grimes can overcome without Alvarez completely collapsing? No, Alvarez is in the driver's seat right now. He's in control over Grimes. Spencer has moved back up into the number three slot but he trails Grimes by about 15 to 20 yards. Joe, Steve Alvarez has never won an NCAA Division II championship. He's come close, he's smelled the pizza for years, but he's never had a bite. Well, he's just about to get the topping if he can hang on to what he's doing because he has built himself a considerable lead now over Danny Grimes, and he continues to stretch it out. That lead has got to be about 40 yards at the present time and growing with almost every stride that Steve Alvarez uh, the University of California Riverside takes. He is very comfortably in front if he can maintain the pace he is setting. We have control of the race. And right now, Grimes in a little bit of trouble. We're at the bell lap. We're in the last lap of this 5,000 meter race. They went by their two mile time. It was 8.58. They're averaging better than four minutes and 30 seconds per mile as they head into the last lap. It's a nice feeling for Steve Alvarez to know that he has a lead. Alvarez from Riverside, way out in front, very, very comfortable. Grimes trying to hold on to his number two spot. He fought off one challenge from Ferrari and has regained the number two position. But the story of this one right now, Stephen Alvarez of the University of California, Riverside. Let's go down to the finish line and Leandra Riley. Grimes is losing his shoe. That's why he's losing ground. Somebody stepped on it, but let's go back for our finish. All right, here's Alvarez, number one. Here comes Grimes, Grimes, number two. Even with the bad shoe, still manages to hold on and win second place. Leandra, you're down there right at the finish line. Did you say somebody stepped on Danny Grimes' shoe? Evidently, evidently that is what happened somewhere early in the race. Somebody stepped on the back of his heel and he was losing his shoe. He had slid back into it, but he had to run curling his toes to keep the shoe on his foot. Well, the winner, who, uh, Larry, you said has never won an NCAA championship before, now has Stephen Alvarez of the University of California, Riverside, winner of the 5,000 meter event. And we'll have more of our NCAA Division II Men's Track and Field Championships when we return to Sacramento, California.